Algebra 1, 12.1b, function notation, the function of x. Input and output can be explained like a calculator. You put in a value, it performs a function, and you get an output. Inputs from the domain x are entered into the machine, it's processed, then we get an output, a range, like y. So if we had a little machine, and our function machine was plus 5, and whatever we put into it is going to add 5. If we put in a 2, it's going to add the 5, we're going to get a 7. If we put an x in here, we're going to get x plus 5. See? That would be our function value. When you see a fancy f in front of an x in parentheses, it means the number assigned to x by the function, f. And if x is the input, the function of x, that's how we read this, the function of x is the output. You're going to have to be careful because when you see this, it does not mean f times x. It means the function of x, like f o x, like a fox, okay? So it's function of x. So don't think you multiply these two together. That's got nothing to do with it, okay? This is not like a variable. It means function, all right? So if the function of x equals x plus 5, that's how we would read this. If the function of x equals x plus 5, then the function of 2 equals 2 plus 5, which is 7. And these are our function values, our outputs, okay? So if the function of x was a 2, an 8, a 0, or a minus 3, and we're adding 5, then these would be our function values, see? You'd read this one as 7 is the value of the function function of x equals x plus 5 when x equals 2, see? And for this one, 13 is the value of the function, the function of x equals x plus 5 when x equals 8, see? The outputs of the function are called function values. These orange guys are the function values of the outputs. We can look at it this way. The function of x equals x plus 2, here's our input, Here's our function values, see? Unlike a function table. So if x is a 2, then our output's going to be a 4. 2 plus 2 is 4, see? 3 plus 2 is 5. 4 plus 2 is 6. 5 plus 7 is 5 plus 2 is 7, see? 7 is the value of the function when x equals 5, see? So we can find the indicated outputs. So if these are our values for x, negative 2, 0, and 3, we did negative 2, we did 0, and we did 3. Okay, so here's the negative 2. So now it doesn't have an x here, it's got a p, which is okay. And we do 2, p squared plus 5, we just plug in that negative 2 where the p is, see? Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. Now we have 2 times 4, which is 8. 8 plus 5 is 13, so our function value is 13. See? If we use a 0, 0 squared is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 is a 5. Our function value is a 5. If it's a 3, 3 squared is a 9. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 plus 5 is 23. See? And we may see different letters used than an F, like a P in front of parentheses with an X, or an H with an X in parentheses, or we might even see the F with another letter here. See? So other letters might be used. Here's a capital G, and we've got a negative 1, or a 2, or a half. So here I did the negative 1, here I did the 2, and here I did the half. Okay? So... Negative 1 is going to be plugged in for x. So now we've got 8 times the, squ the square of negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. So we get 8 times 1 is 8 plus 3. That's 11. See? 11 is the function value. See? For this one, if we plug in 2, 2 squared is a 4. 8 times 4 is 32. 32 plus 3 is a 35. For this one, we plug in the half, and a half times a half is a fourth. That makes eight-fourths. 
that makes 2, and 2 plus 3 is 5. See? All right, our next video is 12.1c. We're going to talk about operations with functions. And in my grade 8 math playlist, there's going to be a link in this description. There's a whole chapter 6 about functions. It might be explained a little bit easier for you. And you'll be able to just go to this description and click on that, okay? And there's also a link to identifying functions, which was our previous video. But we're going to continue talking about functions in this chapter 12. We're going to talk about the relations of them, okay? So that's what entire chapter 12 is about. So you have a choice of going to grade 8 math and watching it or continuing on in Algebra 1 and watching it. All I want to tell you, though, is in this Algebra 1 playlist, we get a little deeper into the topic, okay? The grade 8 math one does not go as deep as this playlist, okay? All right. I'll see you next video, and I hope you're doing okay. And I'll see you. Bye.